Hey, what's up, everyone? Um, is it like uh, Thursday morning here? Um, 8:30. I've been up for a couple hours, but um, I'm beat. I've pretty much been going nonstop except for day before yesterday. Uh, I'm pretty sure from exhaustion I was sick all day, and because uh, I've been working 10. 12, 14 hour days on the house, but, um, yeah, so, uh, you know, I think the only, you guys just gotta see a little bit of the outside and the house inside, and I think that's all I ever showed you guys, and, um, Jessica has been cleaning like crazy, her mom came over a couple times, helped her, my mom's come over a couple times, helped her, um, Last Sunday, well actually last Saturday and Sunday, uh, my buddy Mikey borrowed a weed eater from his work. Uh, he's a landscaper. And um, it's pretty damn good. I used to work with him for several years back when I used to do it. and He's only gotten better and I've stayed about the same. I surprised the hell out of myself grabbing that weed eater and freaking flipping it up at a 90 and busting edges out like I didn't even stop doing it. I will admit, my back started hurting after about half an hour like a bitch, but um, my lawn looks pretty goddamn good, that's all I got to say. The negative, there's about like five or six different breeds of grass, and there's some gigantic root balls on top of the regular sod for me, sons of bitches growing so big. So... It actually kind of looks like crap right now because, you know, there's tons of yellow spots and a couple places where it got scalped. And for you non-landscapers, scalping is when you take a high spot off from either hitting a bump or the edge and you hit dirt or severe rootage. Um, and scalping. Um, so, yeah. But, uh, so, yeah. Um, I made... Um, you know, I got some videos of the, uh, the outside, and um, after it was mowed, and with uh, some trees cut down, and then we had a new, got our new roof put on it, and um, one of Jessica's friends at work, his dad is a furnace guy, came out and looked at our furnace and said, it looks like they put it in about 20 years ago, never used the damn thing, looks brand new. Um, had a couple really stupid issues, had like a, a clogged fire jet thingy, I don't know what it's really called, and, um, yeah, that was pretty much it, the other thing was just a, a human error, but, um, and then, uh, so yeah, the holes in the master shower, I don't know if I told you guys about that, there's a couple holes, and... So I fiberglass those up, and I was sanding them, and I was working on the one, and then uh, it was time to sand the other one, so I switched hands, and this hand went uh, through the floor in between the shower and the sink. So, long story short, you'll guys see it in the videos in the next couple days, but um, yeah, so right now my entire master bathroom is completely gutted out, rafters, and uh, actually last night I started putting some boards in, but my back was hurting, so I called it a night, because i just been running myself ragged, but other than the money we have to spend, we should end up with a pretty nice shower in there, instead of that little tiny corner piece of crap, and yeah. Uh, hopefully, if I can get it done, one of my other buddies, I have lots and lots and lots of buddies uh, <clears throat> that used to do sheetrock, and uh, he's going to come over and at least help me sheetrock the downstairs ceiling, because doing shit above my head, five minutes of that, and I'm done for an hour, my back hurts so bad, it's crazy. But, so yeah, Sheetrock Buddy's coming over, and then, um, got one of his buddies is a carpet guy, and they just did a gigantic huge job, and he thinks they might have enough carpet from the leftover to do my whole downstairs, 
So we're going to check into that. And um, yeah, so yeah, we need to go buy our shower stall and a hot water tankless heater and a washer, dryer, a free edge. I think that's it. And then start moving. As soon as I get this bathroom situation situated. Um, so yeah, uh, we have till the end of May here. And it's finally now May. So I'm hoping in about two weeks we should be moving everything. And I mean everything. And then half-ass clean this crappy apartment complex. And bounce the hell up out of here into our new home. Uh, is it really me or does my arms look that big? Oh, look at that. I actually have some muscle there. Ooh. No, I will admit, that's a little flabby underneath. <clears throat> yeah, I'm actually hurting myself. But at the same time, I'm losing weight. And I'm actually getting a few muscles. It's kind of cool. Hmm. Considering I haven't work, actually worked in like over two years. But let's be honest. I couldn't do it for a real job. I've been forcing myself and making myself sick fucking building this damn house. But it's going to be sweet. Wait till I get to do the fun part. Alright, well. I can't think of much else. I'm going to quit rambling on. And, um... Yeah, I think I might pop up a video or two tonight, and I'll probably do it tonight because, yeah, I'm going to stop working so late. I need to try to get some sleep. Yeah, all right. Peace.